Okay, prop the mic here on a beautiful Friday. What's up, Dave? Prop the mic. You are looking good today. Very clean shaven. Because <sighs> my bets have been so good. I have to look fresh. What um you go you go like a straight razor or you got an electric no, razor? No, I haven't there? I haven't uh, I've I had a straight razor on my face once in the last ten years. You do electric razor? Yeah. Like a hair like hair clippers. I just put it on the small setting. I just multi purpose tool, you know? Yeah, but you got like little patches there you gotta maintain, so little patches? <laughs> I did it I did this at like eleven PM last night. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little uh yeah. Well, anyway, anyway, I thought it was looking good. This is thanks, thanks, Dave. Don't don't want to uh, go thanks. the wrong path there. I appreciate that. Um, you want to so, know what else was going on at eleven o'clock at night? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> what does that even mean? Um, <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Uh, so last night, um, three games, right? Yep. And any any highlights to mention? I know Dame had a uh, had a big one. Uh, Dame, yeah, Dame did have a big one. Jokic, uh, so my day, yeah, Dame cashed that Jokic parlay cashed. Uh, Simmons didn't have a good night, but uh, Dame was the one who did. So two out of two out of the three on that game, including that one parlay, which was plus one thirty. Uh, Jabari Smith cashed, I believe. Yeah, he did. Um, so that was good in the Houston game. Jimmy Butler crushed. Yeah, um, you 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 had him for points. I had him for assists. He hit both of them. Yep. Uh, we were all, we were also advising a Paul George play. I don't think I don't think either of us made that official, but we were feeling. We didn't, but that was forward forwards against the clip. Uh, against, sorry, against um, Miami is the number one matchup to target Miami. Yeah, Paul and, George crushed, and we we properly predicted uh, Kawhi sitting, which he did. Um, yeah. So that was good value there. Trey, Trey, uh, who am I thinking of? Trey Jones um, also got a, uh, he had a big game. Uh, he played really well. He, uh, he had, he got the three that I was predicting. So that was good. Yeah. And, Yoke- and, and I, I should point out that uh, point guards uh, against Houston are also, is the number one matchup and that's Trey Jones. But we, we, I think we did mention that on the show. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, so. The past is the past. Yeah, but let's, promising. Let's look, let's look forward to the future. Yeah. All right. So, um, big slate tonight. We're gonna yep. cover. We're gonna cover five games tonight. We're gonna try that. Mm-hmm. Um, gonna hit both of the New York teams, which I'm excited about, even though I can't watch it with my cable restrictions. Yeah. Uh, which is so silly. You know, I couldn't even watch the uh, Lakers Cavs TNT game here. It was blacked out. I didn't, I didn't realize the TNT games are also blacked out. Usually I can watch those, um, but every yeah, once in a could. while yeah. they'll block those out too. Um, it's crazy, man. Yeah. It's like so It's so hard to watch TV these days. It's like you have to do so much research just to figure out like what game is on what. And I think there's big changes are coming on the, with all these streamers and whatnot. Yeah. That's for a different pod. Yeah, I know. It's a good idea. All right, so the first game we got, uh, 7 p.m. We got the Knicks uh, coming off of that big win against the Hawks, 12 and 13, going up against the Hornets, um, who got beat down by the Nets. Um, Hornets are at home. They're 7 and 18. Uh, Hornets are getting three and a half points in the game. Sharps are on the Hornets and the under, which was 224.5. Um yeah, same characters are out on the Hornets, and the Knicks pretty much have everybody. Uh, Obi Toppin is the only notable. Toppin's out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, let's look into the matchups here. Um, against Charlotte, uh, we can target combo guards and big men. Uh, so for the Knicks, that's uh, Jalen Brunson and Emmanuel Quickly uh, on, for your guards, and you have uh, Randall and uh, Mitchell Robinson for your bigs. Um, Kind of ancillary pieces would be Jericho Sims and Hardenstein, but we're not a uh, we're not betting them. Nope. Um, <laughs> and done, then done that once, never, never again. again. Okay. Uh, and then against uh, the Knicks, um, point guards are who we can uh, target and forwards. Um, so little interesting here. Uh, 
Charlotte only has uh, two guys on their team who have played any minutes in their entire career uh, being classified as a point guard. It's Dennis Smith and LaMelo Ball. They're both not playing tonight. Okay. Um, so we're going to we're going to look into uh, uh, you're going to have some guard pick up the slack here um, and have a good game. And I feel like it's going to be uh, Terry Rozier. Um, so we're going to look at him being a guard, even though he's always been classified as a combo guard. And then uh, your forwards, uh, you have McDaniels, uh, JT Thor, PJ Washington, and we got a birthday boy, Kelly Oubre Jr. Ooh, and he's been he's been pretty hot, right? Yeah, we got something nice on him. So I um I was feeling I was feeling a little uh, little feisty, a little fancy today, and uh, I wanted to uh, are those I, are those the same things? Feisty and fancy? No, that's feisty. very different. They're very different things. But I was feeling both of them. Okay. Um, so you're going to see quite a few of our old school uh, point rebound assist uh, parlays here. So uh, let's run through the birthday boy first. Kelly Oubre. Here's what I worked up for him. 20 points, five rebounds, and two assists. All right? Okay. Uh, it's plus 250. Um, if you look at games that he's played without LaMelo and without Dennis Smith, right? Ready for this? I'm ready. 20 points, 12 of 13 games, including 7 of 7 at home. Five rebounds, 8 of 13 games, including 6 of 7 at home. Two assists, 9 of 13 games, including 6 of 7 at home. 25 and 2, you said? 25 and 2. Wow, and I, I I went all the way back to 2016 and looked at his the stats that he's put up on his birthday or the day, uh, you know, before or after his birthday. Yep, he's averaging 19 six and two, with just under two steals. So mm. if you wanted to take that same those same three and tack on one steal, you get up to plus 320. He's had one steal in 12 of 13 games without LaMelo and Dennis Smith and also six of seven at home. And uh, do, the, do the Knicks cough up the ball a lot? I don't really know. Let me see where, where they are at. Uh, uh, in terms of turnovers, they are... In the middle of the pack, 14th and yeah, still allowed. They're, they're pretty, pretty average. Um, yeah. Okay, but regardless, I mean, he's... He's a pretty active player, um, yeah, and he, and he gets a lot of minutes, which I think yeah. is also key to uh, getting steals, right? Yeah. So his the um, the other thing I just wanted to point out he's had t uh, he's had two plus two or more steals in every single home game this season. Mm -hmm. Um. So if you wanted to go with two steals on that parlay instead of one, you'd actually get plus five fifty. Ooh. You want to put that up? Yeah, it's so nice. That's getting nice. <laughs> yeah. We got we got um, big odds today. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this. And what do you think about? I, I kind of liked him. I was looking at um, at a potential play on him just on his 22 and a half points. And you didn't even know it was his birthday. I didn't even know it was his birthday. Um, what uh, what do you think about just even even just the 22 and a half? You think he'll get there? Yeah. Uh, the reason I went down to 20, he has so many games at 22. Yeah, I was like, I just it was like screaming at me that like this is just a half a point too high. It's so it's so weird that players do that, and I, and I thought that was just something that we like would comment on, but I actually heard another uh, another show commenting on on the fact that Zion like tends to always land at twenty five. So yeah, certain guys have their the, that number. Yeah, yeah, and and we yeah we were talking about Jalen Brown the other day too, right? Yep. Um. Okay. Cool. What else you got? All right, then, um, because uh, we want to take advantage of the Knicks being uh, not so good at uh, opposing point guards, um, I wanted to look at Terry. Uh, so I also worked up a nice little combo for him. 20 points. He's done in eight of nine games. The, I'm also looking without, without Ball and Smith. So he's done right. in eight of nine without those guys, including uh, uh, all four games at home. Four rebounds. He's done it in seven of nine without those guys and four, all four games at home. Okay. And four assists. He's done it in eight of nine and all four games at home. That's mm. plus 145. That's pretty compelling as well. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I mean, not not going to be a, a super high scoring game, but not not a, uh, a super low scoring either. Someone's got to score for uh, 
for yeah, Charlotte, it's, right? It's those two guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. I I also got um I also got a play on PJ Washington because forwards against the Knicks have also uh, have been enjoying some success. So we, I, I couldn't just uh, leave PJ hanging. So I had to work up a parlay on him too. Um, but this is, this is, I think you're really going to like this. Okay. Two assists, right? He's done it in eight of 10 home games, including his last four. You want to know what his totals in the last four? Seven, four, five, and five. And we, I, we only need two. Okay. Ooh. Okay. He's done it in five. He's had five straight overall. Okay. One. Th- now we're now we're attacking on one three pointer. He's done it in twenty one yeah. of his last twenty five games. That's a guarantee, including eleven of twelve at home. And he, he had four against the Knicks when they played in October. He couldn't get me the uh, the two that I needed the other day, but he'll definitely get that one. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then uh, you had one block. He's done it in five straight and seven of his last eight. Okay, so it's a nice little two one one, and it's minus one hundred five. That's not bad. That's not bad. If you yeah. wanted to, if you if if you're feeling uh, if you were feeling a little feisty and wanted to bring that, make it two threes. So you got a you got a. This is called the three two one parlay. Three assists, two threes, <laughs> and one block. It's plus two thirty. Wow. Yeah. Put in the books. But I like the I like the one two one or the two one one whatever you, whatever you're calling yeah, that two, one. It was two one one or then I looked at the three two one. Yeah. I feel like the two that one could, one is amazing. I feel like that could be a second quarter uh, uh, cash right there. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Nice. Good one. Yeah. What? Nobody on the Knicks side. What are you? I could the whole yeah, team. I, I just couldn't. I was finding all this awesome stuff on uh, Charlotte, and I just couldn't. You know, Brunson assists and steals are something to look at, but I couldn't find something super uh, compelling. Right. Uh, and then the other one to look at would be Randall assists and uh, possibly Mitchell Robinson points, just given matchups um, and and their kind of last five games or so. They're at like eighty percent hit rates on these numbers. Um, but uh, no, no official play on the next. I, I just couldn't find something I loved. Yeah, could be a letdown game for them too. Um, yeah, I was diving into R.J. Barrett, um, diving into um, diving into Randall. I, I just couldn't find something that I love. So yeah, um, all you right. can't force it. Sometimes you know, if can't it's not force there, it. you just that's the the right decision is you just let it be. Let it be. Yeah. All right, let it be, and we move down to uh, to Orlando. Warmer, warmer weather. Um, we got a uh, t- 7 p.m. game. We got Toronto at Orlando. Toronto's 13 and 12. Orlando is 6 and 20. Feel like, feels like Orlando's been like on a home, um, uh, at home for like the past like three weeks. It's crazy. And yeah. yet, their, yet their record is not improving. Um, Orlando's getting eight points in the game. Sharps are on Toronto. With uh, also with the over two twenty two point five, um, pretty much. Uh, I think Achua is still out for Toronto, yep. and Carter is uh, is the main main guy out for Orlando. Yeah, He's Suggs, cool. Suggs is out too. Okay. Suggs, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so matchup wise, uh, uh, going up against Toronto is nice because they're they're great guarding every position except combo guards. So we can look at combo guards from Orlando. Um, we we had this last time. It's uh, Markel Fultz. Um, Go, running it back. Big <laughs> no, one. I, I didn't find anything, but he's just who you would target. <laughs> Jalen Suggs would also fit into that, but he's uh, he's out. Um, and then against Orlando, uh, point guards and combo guards are uh, are the best, but you can really target anyone against Orlando. Um, so I, I went just to, I wanted to go with the best, best matchup I could find. So it's point guard, combo guard, Fred Van Vliet. He's kind of, uh, he's been pretty bad this season. Um, yeah. I don't know what's up with him, but I feel like he had a big game. His last game, he had a big game. So maybe that was the, I'm hoping that was the turning point. Um, I'm going to go with something, uh, kind of simple, just two and a half threes. Um, on one day, re- one day when he's on one day rest on the road, he's done it in 16 of his last 19 games. Mm. Um, so I have a feeling Freddie's getting hot and, uh, that's my only play from this game. Mm. I'm feeling like a collab play. I want to, I want to put something together live. I, I actually don't have my phone. Um, oh, here I got it. What do you, what do you want? Oh no, I do have my phone. Sorry. Um, 
So my my play was on Siakam. Um, I like Siakam assists. Actually, well, I, I just sorry. Croatia just lost. I mean, uh, Brazil just lost to Cro- Croatia. Oh, yeah. I mean, they. I watched the first uh, the regular time. They were atrocious. They like, really sorry. Um, uh, Brazil. That is, they just like couldn't put yeah. it in. Um, all right. So yeah, Siakam is uh, over five and a half assists. So okay. Um, uh, he's done that in eleven of fifteen. And in the last three games, he's 10, 7, and 7. So he's really been um, dishing the ball quite a bit. And this is going to be a decent scoring game. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm thinking maybe we do something like Siakam. If we did Siakam 6 assists and FVV, we just, let's just put those two together. FVV 3, three threes. What do you, what do do you, you like, get there? Do you like, uh, what does that give you? Yeah. Um did you the the other one was um that was also nice for Van Vliet was uh rebounds but uh let's let's stick with assists here so you said you said Siakam 6 mhm okay. assist yep yeah 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 uh here we go Siakam assists okay. and FVV threes Two, yeah. We're going to go for three threes. Uh, here you go. That is plus 140. It's not bad. No. And they, and, bad. and they correlate, too, because, you know. Yep, for sure. All right, so that might be uh, – I'm going to go nice with the, if... the Siakam play, but we're going to do a little collab action, see if we can nail them both. I on love it. One. All right? I love it. All Live right, on cool. the air. All right. Live. All right, um, let's move on. we got the Hawks at the Nets. Um, yep. Hawks are 13 and 12. Um, they just got, uh, spanked by the Knicks and now they're going to move down the road over to Brooklyn and probably see the same thing happen to them tonight. Um, and the Nets are 14 and, uh, and 12. So they're, they're actually a, um, a bit of a sneaky team that is, um, is, is actually making some, some good ground up, yeah. I think. Thanks uh, to, uh, Kevin Durant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's keeping them alive, but. Yeah. But uh, but they I think they still need a player. Like they're still one player away from like even being a contender. But maybe they can get somebody. Um, Nets are minus seven and a half. Uh, Sharps are actually on the Hawks plus the seven and a half, mm-hmm. and they're on the under two thirty. So still going to be a high scoring game, but um, not one of these monster ones. Yeah. Um, injuries are huge on the Hawks side. That's why I think yeah. they're going to yeah. lose. Um, they got Collins out, Murray out, and Hunter is questionable. Um, and the Nets pretty much have everybody. Yeah. Um, all right. What do you? All right. I'm, hope, I'm um, hoping we have the same play here. But go ahead. I have a feeling we might. Um, so we saw how we saw how uh, how good uh, Julius Randall was the other night against the Hawks from the, the uh, big forward position. Yep. Uh, so Brooklyn's got a guy named Kevin Durant. That was my that profile. That was my play. <laughs> I just thought. I, th- I actually think their games are like very similar in nature yeah. like um obviously durant, uh, that's a durant little is, insulting to durant no 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 but just <laughs> shot selection wise yeah, right? yeah yeah no i agree they're comp they're they're a good comp yeah um durant is clearly a much better shooter and all-around game but um but yeah no similar similar type of player to, to actually comp off of so yeah so uh, I like that from the Brooklyn side, just going matchups. I don't have any plays on Atlanta, but wings and forwards are, are who you could target um, uh, against Brooklyn. Um, so that would be like A.J. Griffin, Bogdan Bogdanovich, uh, DeAndre Hunter. Um, so And then the sneaky one to, to, to look at here is uh, with all the injuries, both Holiday brothers – not, the not as good as Drew Holiday brothers are on the Hawks, and they're both wing forward type guys who are going to probably get run in this game. So something just to look at later when the, there's no lines obviously yet, but something to keep in mind. It could be a very sneaky play. It's going to be low lines, and they match up really well against the Knicks. Um. Okay. So uh, against the Nets, right? Sorry, sorry. Against the Nets. Yeah. 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 Um. And. For the Durant play, what were you going with? Points? So, uh, 27, points, and 27 and a half? and a half points. Yeah. yeah. It's, it seemed like to, like, just keep it simple. Don't overthink this one, right? No. Uh, yeah, but I did. 
<laughs> All right, how so? So I like I, I like the straight twenty seven and a half points. He's done it in uh, six of seven. His right. last eight of ten at home. He's done it in five of six on one day rest at home. Um, and then if you look at his last three against Atlanta, fifty five, thirty one, thirty two. Um, but I, uh, I, I wanted to put him into one of these nice parlays we've been doing all day today. So Kevin Durant, 25 points. Uh, he's done it in seven of his last 10. He's done it in seven of eight on one day rest at home. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, five rebounds. He's done it in, uh, 22 of, of 26 games. <laughs> yeah. I looked even further back. I had okay. five rebounds as well as, as uh, like a, it's just like a nice. I didn't know how to do it, but like as a nice add on, add on to any parlay. So yes, so he's done it in yeah, and he's done it in ten straight, um, five assists. He's also done in ten straight, uh, including seven of eight on one day rest at home. You put those three together, it's plus one forty five. Mm. Um, if you tack on one block, which he's done in seven of eight on one day rest at home, he's also done in twenty three of twenty twenty three of his last twenty six games. And he's also done in eight of his last 10. It's plus 215. Interesting. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. That's an exciting one. I think. And, and I like what that. kind of game do you think Trey Young is going to have? Uh, I'm off Trey right now. Uh, I think he's something's going on with him right. and the team. And uh, the, the the chemistry, the body language, everything is not not looking good. In All right. So, so we'll stay we'll away let... right now. We'll let things settle down in Atlanta before we yeah. jump back. That, are you, have, you have the same feeling? No, I, I'm right. definitely gun shy after after we played his threes the other day and he got none. Um, but you even but, saw him live. You can kind of you can kind of see things they don't pick up on TV. And you, didn't you mention his, his kind of he looked disengaged? Body yeah, he got a, was not good. You got a, you got a T with the refs, like yeah, you, like you know, he just like he seems. Yeah, he just seems out of it. So I think we'll we'll lay off of the Atlanta side until yep. they get their players back. Yeah. All right. Um, what do you want to move on to next? The the Lakers at the Sixers. Yes. All right. So we got the Lakers ten and fourteen, uh, four and eight on the road, um, and the Sixers are twelve and twelve, seven and five at home. Uh, AD is questionable. I I I was watching the uh, a little bit of Thursday night football mm-hmm. and on Amazon last night, and they had like a. You know, like like ESPN tries to do the Manning cast. Like yeah. um, Amazon's been trying to like do some alternative broadcast, and one of them, like it was LeBron James, um, along with um, who's who's his like uh, his Rich agent Paul. or, or uh, yeah, it might have been Rich Paul or, or someone else. Um, but anyway, the point was like they they did this huge promo where it showed them all like together in mm-hmm. a barber shop, like yeah, yeah. going to be really really cool. And then like I turned it on, mm-hmm. and it was like the two guys in the barber shop, like and LeBron at home. Oh and really? It was just like a t- it was a terrible broadcast. The sound was really bad. Uh-huh. But anyway, the the reason why I bring it up is in that interview he said that AD was gonna was gonna play today. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> so he he I was wondering um, where we were going with this. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, I was disappointed because I was hoping it was going to be great, but it was yeah. terrible. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I think the, I think the Lakers will be full full force. Yeah. Um, and uh, and the Sixers have everybody but Maxi. So yeah. Um, six, Sixers are minus five. Total is two twenty seven point five. Sharps are on the Lakers plus five and the over. Um, what do you like? All right, uh, matchups we can target against the Lakers. Uh, the, two, the two best guys, two best positions to target are big men and point guards. Um, and then against Philly, it's uh, wings and combo guards. Um, so what's nice about um, going up against the Lakers, uh, especially if you're the Sixers, is that uh, right now the only guy on the uh, on the Sixers who's played any time a point guard in his entire career is James Harden. So he, right. you can isolate him. Um, I think that's a good play because there's no one else who could maybe have the good game from that position because he's the only one. Um, and then obviously you got one of the best big men in the league and Joel Embiid to look at. Um, so Harden and, B- Harden and Embiid were two guys that I found uh, some stuff on that I liked. And then looking at the Lakers uh, with uh, uh, wings and combos being the positions to target, uh, with your wings, it's Austin Reeves, it's LeBron James, it's Lonnie Walker. 
uh, Troy Brown, um, and then your combo guards, Dennis Schroeder, Kendrick Nunn, Patrick Beverly, and even Russell Westbrook. So lots of guys from the Lakers who have a chance to have a pretty good uh, game tonight. But the guy, was, the guy I have a feeling it's going to be, especially with uh, AD leaving the game last time, maybe not 100%, is LeBron. So, yeah, and keep in mind this is Harden only Harden's second game back, but in in the uh, in the previous game he played like thirty something minutes. Yeah, he played, so he and he played well be, too. Right? Yeah. yeah, he yeah. seems to be full force. Yeah, so I got three beautiful parlays for this game. Okay, you're just like doing overtime today. I am. It's like picks within <laughs> picks, layered picks, layered picks. Yeah, but we're getting right. plus money, and th- these are fun. I like the the, the the one the one off ones at minus one fifty. It's so boring. Who wants to bet those? You know. Well, don't don't talk too much trash. That's kind of our bread and butter. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is my juice. This, this, this is where I'm. This is what I'm feeling today. So okay, good. All right. Harden, fifteen points, six rebounds, eight assists. It's plus one fifty six. Uh, the points he's done it in his last eight of ten. Um, inclu- they're on two days rest today. He's done it in nine of his last 12 games on two days rest. Um, six rebounds. He's done it in seven straight games on two days rest at home. And eight assists. He's done in seven of his last eight on two days rest at home. So he plays better, uh, a little older now. Probably uh, playing a little bit better. I and mean, he's got some extra some extra rest and uh, gets to uh, sleep in his own bed. So I like that one. Um. Then we have a parlay on Joel Embiid, 25 points. He's done it in 12 of 15 on two days rest. He's done it in eight straight at home. Um, and he's also done it in his last nine of 10 overall. Um, okay. Eight rebounds. He's done it in 13 of 15, <laughs> including, this is amazing. He's done it in his last 29 of 30 games at home. Wow. Yeah. Two assists. He's done it in his last 47 of 49 home games. Wow. And 1-3, which Joel is always good for, he's done in 37 of 49 home games, um, including four of his last five at home. uh, And three of those games, he had two threes. Um, So uh, that's plus 128. So, again, it's 25 points, eight rebounds, two assists, and 1-3. Okay. okay, I like that. That's plus 128. Um, I have one more on Embiid that I really liked. It's Embiid to have two blocks on two days rest. He's done it in nine of 14. Uh, he's done it in five straight on two days rest at home. Uh, last two times he played the Lakers, he had three and two. Um, I didn't see what the odds were. They weren't out last night, but I just I actually found this one last night. So I don't know if you, maybe you could Let take a quick if, look yeah, see what two pluses. is. Um, He's done it in six of nine home games and his last six of eight overall. Um, so his line is for is for uh, one block, but we're going to get some extra juice here because he's going to get two. You think so? I think so. I know he, he's also a good play on the block and steal. Look how many steals he gets, too. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll read you off his last five games. Two, one, three, two, three. Mm. So he... Um, he is he is good in both of those, so that might be a good combo bet as well. Yeah, look at um, his last five games: steal, block, four, three, four, eight, four. Wow. Uh, yeah, just because he, you know, a lot of the tip balls and such he gets. Um, trying to pull that up, but go ahead, go go on to the. Uh, All right, so uh, then on the Lakers side, my LeBron pick. Uh, it's another parlay. Twenty points. He's done in all but two games this season. Uh, six rebounds he's done in every single game. Uh, and four assists he's done in all but two games. Um, and uh, two threes. Yeah, I mean, he's he's been he's he's going to be shooting a lot of threes yeah. tonight, I think. He's the, the threes he's done in 12 of 17, including he's, he's, he's better on the road. Seven of nine road games, he's hit two threes. So LeBron, 20 points, six rebounds, four assists, and two threes is plus 112. Wow. Yeah. And the, he's basically done this yeah. in almost every single game this season. Yeah. And this is an ESPN game, yeah. too. Um, and uh, I think they. Lakers lost their last game, right? Am I right? Mm. About that. Who did they, did they play? play? I 
can't remember. Um, they played. Uh, that was a game where AD left. Uh, left the game. Oh, the cat was it? No, uh, Portland. Uh, Portland. Portland. Right. Um, but they. Um, yeah, so I think they they were heading in the right direction. So this game is actually pretty critical for them to yeah. to not be going uh, going backwards. Um, Embiid two blocks is roughly uh, plus two hundred. Wow, nice by itself. Nice, I like that a lot. Okay, all right, cool. Um, did you have something on uh, anything else? Or no, that's on the it. Lakers I got the, the the Harden parlay, the Embiid parlay, the Embiid two blocks, and the LeBron parlay. How do you what do you think about Harden just uh three pointer straight up over two and a half threes plus one ten? Plus think he'll get there? one ten. Does he get there? Um He had four in his uh in his first game back against against Houston, which, you know, is uh not the best defensive team. Um hmm. uh, and he had eleven attempts. That's oh. that's what I usually look at. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so. yeah. I mean, I I love it. I feel like he. I feel like he's gonna he's gonna get up for this game against against you know playing against LeBron uh, in Philly. It's hard. It's hard though betting, you know, betting threes on these like versatile players too, like guys like like him, like Trey Young, where you know where they can just shut it off at some point. Like and, you, you, you mean know. like that he can still have a great game and not and yeah. not score from three. Like yeah, because they have they have the option if they go out there and they miss like their first two or three threes and they realize their yeah. long long range shot isn't there for the game or it's being really defended well mm-hmm. like that that also could be part of the reason why they just like give up on it mm-hmm. is they could be defending it really well which means they're giving up the lane to drive yeah and and a guy like him you know he can just got another way to score. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or it's like you know, that's... guys like uh, you know, for like uh, Kevin Herter, Herter. or yeah. there you go, or exactly. Clay Thompson. You know, the game that they, they, they're they're done. They're done, they're done for that game. You know. Yeah. So, um. So yeah, I think guys like that, it's probably better to stick with threes, unless you're you know parlaying it down. I like and, how we uh, both thought of Kevin Herter as the example on that one. That was good. He's like your your <laughs> typical like yeah. single dimensional player. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. I, he was doing something in in Atlanta because Atlanta has been pretty good, and now all of a sudden he leaves. Murray comes in, and his chemistry is all wonky, and uh, they're all out of sorts. I don't know. They uh, Kevin Herter was doing something there, maybe. There, yeah, he he was the peacekeeper. I think so. The te- I think the, so. The natural leader of the team. No, but like there's a there's a like it, it's not a negative thing to be a, a single dimensional player. Like to be really good at shooting. Like yeah. it, it's like you're out there for a set purpose, and quite honestly, those are the guys that end up being in the league for 20 years. Yeah, they don't take right? a lot. They don't, they don't put a lot of miles on them. Yeah. They're, they're standing around they, a lot. And, they run. They run three point line to three point line. Mm-hmm. They, you know, they, they usually come out of the game when they, you know, when there's a, a need for defense mm-hmm. and they get a decent amount of rest. And when they come in, they're they're there for for set, set purpose. Duncan Robinson got like a almost a hundred million dollar contract on that. So. Yeah. He barely plays. So. <laughs> All right. Um, last game, we got Detroit at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, going up against Memphis. Um, Detroit 7 and 20. I feel like we covered Detroit like All the more, time. Than, I know. more than we should, right? <laughs> Probably. I, I, I bet if you were to go back to all the pods, we've covered Detroit more than any other team, which is bizarre yeah. because they are – Really, not a good team. But. I, I like I like the the go, you know I like these younger teams. You know I feel like there's more options you know to to look at in terms of props. Maybe that's why. Maybe I don't know. I'm not buying. Um, Detroit's three and twelve on the road. Uh, Cade Cunningham still out. Uh, Memphis is sixteen and nine overall. Really good home team. Ten and two at home, which is where they're playing. Mm-hmm. Bain is out. You mentioned to me yesterday that he could be out for Another some time. Or so, yeah. Um, so we might just move him to the do not talk about mm-hmm. list. Um, and then Stephen Adams was questionable for the game. Um, and that is it. Oh no! And uh, Memphis is minus ten and a half in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sharps were actually on Detroit plus the points, and the total is two twenty eight. All right. What do you What do you got? Um, okay, so what, uh, what concoction have you cooked up for this one? Um, no big parlays, but I do have some nice stuff. So, uh, 
against Memphis, uh, they're pretty good defensively. Uh, the one position you can have some success targeting them with is big men. Be the only guys really to look at. Um, and then on the Detroit side, point guards are the best to target, but anybody is is good because uh, <laughs> Detroit is terrible. Um, so given that uh, point guard is the best position to target against the Pistons, I looked at John ja Morant. Um, I found three things for him. Um, we kept the line simple though. Six and a half rebounds. It's minus 140. Uh, he's done in four of his last five on uh, one day rest at home. Just a nice simple line. I just, I feel like he might get there. Um, you might maybe want to put it. The other line I have is, uh, uh, two threes. It's minus 130. I, I thought about maybe putting, putting those two together just to, to, Juice it up to plus two hundred or so. Um, he definitely falls in that same category of player, though. Like he does. can basically just shut off the three and just say, yeah. "That's not my game. I'm just going to the rack." Yeah. So he has done it uh, in seven of his last ten and four of his last five overall. So uh, yeah, it's good. But what I like for Ja tonight is to throw a little nug on a triple double. Uh, back to back. Yeah, it's plus seven hundred on FanDuel, plus seven fifty on DK. Um, so rebound wise, uh, he's got, he's had 10 plus in three of his last 10 games and he's in a, a primo matchup and assist. He's done it in five of his last 10 games. Um, also in a great matchup. So I think it's a good, it's, it's a good game to take a shot at a jaw triple double. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Anybody on the uh, Detroit side? Yeah. So big men are the only ones to look at here. Um, Isaiah Stewart um, has some uh, some great stats uh, when you look at uh, some great stats on the road. So I like his double-double tonight. It's plus 340. Mm. Uh, on the road this season, he's cleared the points in 8 of 9, and he's cleared the rebounds in 7 of 9 on the road. Something about this guy on the road. He's done, oh, If you look at overall, he's done it in 6 of his last 10. Points six of his last ten and rebounds four of his last ten. Not great, but when you uh, when you split it out to just road, something's happening. So I like it. He does. He doesn't like playing in that frigid uh, Detroit weather. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, but uh, okay. I'm. I'm. Uh, I like this. We have lots of big odds tonight. I feel like uh, it's going to be a good night. Got to got to hit at least at least one or two of them, <laughs> or or like six or seven. That's right. Great. That's what's going to happen. Um, I got? was hoping you, I'd hoping you jump on on the Killian uh, Hayes train. Yeah, it's it's, it's moving fast, and it's, uh, there's only a few tickets left to get on board. All right, what do you got? I just didn't like the matchup, so I stayed away. But uh, well, you said that last time about him, and then you put up a lot of assists. I, yeah, I know. you got to pick your spots. Um, you know? No, of course. You know, I was I was I was d- digging into his assist line at six and a half, so it's moved up from five and a half to six and mm-hmm. a half. Um, plus 115. Mm-hmm. So you get plus money at six and a half. Um, if you look at his last seven games, which is kind of where he's been, you know, uh, turn it on. more involved in the offense. Mm-hmm. Um, he has, uh, he has done that. Actually, he's, he's hit six assists in 10 of his last, uh, 11 games. So he seems to like get to the six mark. The seven mark is a bit of a stretch. So, mm-hmm. I too agree that he's probably not a great play on the assist line unless you want to put like a parlay together, yeah. um, like you've been doing um, at, at around six assists. Mm-hmm. The points was more compelling. Um, his line was only ten and a half points. Um, here's what he's done in his last seven games: seventeen, sixteen, eleven, twenty-two, thirteen, six, and seventeen. The one, the one game where he didn't get there was against Miami. So. Okay. Um, so again, yeah, we talked about last time Memphis being um, relatively good defending that position, but I still think this guy is uh, is worth the flyer on tonight. So mm-hmm. I will just keep it simple as well. Um, Killian Hayes over ten and a half points at minus one twenty. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you want to complicate it, you could probably do like eight points and and. Uh, five assists or something once that alt lines out later. Mm-hmm. And that will probably also get you close to, um, to, to plus 100. So, um, yeah, yeah so I, think I like that. I think, um, 
it could it could be that um that uh Memphis is not as good you know Bain yeah that Bain is like a big long wing you know good, good defender so without him in the rotation they they're probably not as good um as what my matchup thing is is showing yeah though he has been so out you, a while now but I don't know so you're buying you're buying the, one of the last tickets on the Killian Hayes trade I? yeah buy some stock and uh Killian come on Hayes. board <laughs> come on board <laughs> I'm the conductor so all right um but sometimes I just jump out of the train too when when they're about to crash. Yeah. I told you about that too. <laughs> <laughs> Burning building, get out. Yeah, exactly. Um, good, good. You ready to make All some right. money tonight? Yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be a good set of games. There was also um, just worth mentioning. I, we probably because the props weren't out on it yet, mm-hmm. but there was also uh, another good matchup um, that we totally. You mean just, just a game? Come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Phoenix, so you got the... Phoenix, New Orleans, Milwaukee, Dallas. I mean, we, we actually skipped exactly. over some. Even Sacramento, Cleveland. I, the, I love those games. The reason I stayed away from them, those are all like good defensive matchups. So I kind of stayed right, away. So give me, yeah. give me your three picks on, on this game. So okay, you New Kings Orleans. Of, uh, Kings of Cavs. Okay, we'll start with that one. What do you like there? Um, just Not players, just game. Just game, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, Cleveland minus three and a half. Kings or, or Cavs? Uh, I'm taking I'm taking Cleveland. All right, so Cleveland minus three and a half. Um, I agree with you there. Um, Suns at the Pels. Uh, Phoenix is minus one and a half. Oh, um, really? I'll take the Pels, and and I even I, I'll take the Pels straight up. Yeah, that's weird, man. I, I think they're overvaluing um, Chris Paul being back. Chris Paul looked terrible the other night. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard to get those late 30 uh, I mean, muscles going. Really bad. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I like this. Um, and then, yeah, I like that one a lot, actually. Um, I, I'm assuming Ingram's out, but Zion's like playing at a different level. Mm-hmm. Now. And then, um, yeah, the late night ESPN game, Bucks at Mavs. Bucks, um, Bucks are minus one, uh, even at even at uh, Dallas. So. Yeah. You like Bucks there, too? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm I'm I like all three of those. I feel I feel pretty confident in all three of those. Mm, My, another opportunity to parlay those. Yeah, nice nice money line parlay. Cleveland, New Orleans, Milwaukee. Yeah, I didn't look at injuries into those games, but uh but yeah, if if, if everybody who we think is playing is playing those those seem to be the right pick. So Yeah. I think that Bucks um Mavs game will be really tight though. I don't think it's gonna be like a blowout. I think uh Mavs will Will might go up early, then the Bucks will come back. Mm-hmm. And, but I think the Bucks have clearly more depth, yeah. Especially with yeah. Middleton yeah, back, a little more firepower. There. But Luca, Luca could put up like sixty points in that game. So he could, he could. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I. Um, it's just the Luca show, you know. I, I especially now, now they got now with, now with uh, Middleton back and and Giannis. Uh, it's only one point. I don't know. Well, Dallas has been very good at home, right? They're very good at home. If it was a, if it was at Milwaukee, that line would probably be Milwaukee minus three or four. Yeah. But um, but yeah, they they just seem to feed off the uh, the home home energy. Uh, Mark Cuban sitting you know courtside might might uh, might get them going. I don't know what it is, but yeah, they're a good home. How team. How crazy is it that that Sacramento and Cleveland? It's like one of our favorite games of the night. Who would have those two teams? Just like perennial. Losers. You know what though? It sh- it shows you that you don't you don't need like ten years to turn around, right? It, like they've been bad for you know Cleveland's been bad since LeBron left. Yeah. Um, Sacramento's been bad for way longer than that, but the moves that they made have all been in the last like two three years, mm-hmm. right? So it starts by like drafting a couple guys, making a couple good trades, mm-hmm. and then bringing in the right veterans, and then you got you got a yeah. good team. So, uh, um, uh, I just want to point out. Uh, I know you 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 texted me this morning that uh, Mitchell wasn't at shoot around. I'm um, just talking yeah. about this game real quick. Uh, so just something to consider the the two the two uh, the two positions you want to target against Sacramento are, are wings and point guards. So with without um, Mitchell in the lineup, I, re, I that would really put me on Karis Levert in that game and Darius Garland. So just something to uh, look yeah. at later, maybe once remember Mitchell's Garland, confirmed. Yeah, remember Garland is uh, is is great at home. At home yeah, his home away splits, yeah. especially scoring wise, are are uh, yep are really good. Yeah. All right, we'll keep an eye on that one. All right, nice work today, Dave. 
Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Good games. Looking forward to them. All right. All right. Good work. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye.